The current GA president says he was unaware of the investigation but stood ready to cooperate with US authorities. I'm certainly I'm shocked about it and I think the United Nations and its representatives should be held to the highest standards of transparency and ethics. The federal complaint charges that Ash took $1.3 million to influence decisions at the UN and in his home country of Antigua, including introducing a UN document in support of a multi-billion dollar UN-sponsored conference center in Macau, China, at the behest of those paying the bribes. Today's charges will confirm that the cancer of corruption that plagues too many local and state governments infects the United Nations as well. As alleged, for Rolex watches, bespoke suits, and a private basketball court, John Ash, the 68th president of the UN General Assembly, sold himself and the global institution he led. Corruption is not business as usual at the UN. Second of all, we, have not, we had not been uh, informed of the investigation uh, by the U.S. Attorney's Office, our Office for Legal Affairs, and other senior officials were not aware of the case until uh, it was read about in the press. Obviously, if we're contact, contacted by the relevant U.S. Relevant US authorities, uh, we will cooperate with them. The alleged bribery unfolded between 2011 and 2014. The U.S. prosecutor has also indicated that the investigation was widening and that more arrests were likely. The complaint says Ash, who is a lawful permanent resident of the United States, allegedly paid a portion of the bribe payments to the Prime Minister of Antigua. The bribery unfolded between 2011 and 2014, which included Ash's presidency of the General Assembly. Shervin Bryceby's SABC News, New York.